This video was inspired by Cliff the Story Guy. If you've played Sea of Thieves, chances are you've heard of the Chest of Legends, a piece of treasure that can only be obtained by getting the infamous Pirate Legend status. Very recently I did, and I had the great idea of making a treasure map. The treasure I'd be burying was something you wouldn't expect. Like many journeys, this one starts at an outpost, but not just any outpost, this starts at Plunder Outpost. Now you might ask yourself why that's so special, and I'll tell you. The reason Plunder is so special is because it's the closest outpost to Moro's Peak, the only outpost inside the Devil's Roar. For those who don't know, the Roar is the only place many pirates avoid. This is simply answered by PvE. The Roar is the only place on the Sea of Thieves to have volcanoes, volcanoes that are constantly erupting. It is also the only place to semi-naturally find Ashen Tier Loot. Ashen Tier Loot is a slightly higher grade of the base loot. It can only be obtained from the Ashen Winds World event, rarely washed up on the beach, and in the Roar. One such item that can only be obtained from the Roar is the Ashen Chest of Legends, a chest that takes at least two hours to obtain. The funniest part is this chest isn't even the most expensive in the game. That title goes to the Chest of Fortune with a base value of 20,000 gold. Now I just didn't bury one chest, I buried two. Just getting the first one took me two and a half hours, getting both took me five. Once I made it to Moro's Peak, I started the first voyage. During the first one, I forgot that you don't actually have to deliver the merging cargo, you just have to claim it. One of the major problems that I had was the skeleton bounties. In Athena voyages, skeletons are buffed, they have way more health, speed, and are more accurate with guns. In the beginning, I just used my cannon, I also recommend getting supplies either from an outpost or getting them from island hopping. I also recommend getting more wood, you're going to be attacked by either skeleton ships, megalodons, krakens, and definitely the volcanoes. I was able to escape most of the volcano eruptions, but when I did get hit, I just bucketed the water and repaired the holes while trying to leave the area. You can actually tell if you're outside of the volcano's blast zone by looking for falling ash in the sky. If you see ash, you need to keep going away from the volcano. Eruptions are the only thing that will slow you down on completing voyages. Any emergent encounters are just a minor inconvenience. Despite being sunk by a skelly sloop after I got the first chest, there wasn't anything that was a crazy inconvenience. So once I had attained both chests, I made my way for Plunder Outpost. I was going to sell the treasure I got from the maps and then bury the ashen chests on another island. Once I arrived at Plunder, I noticed another sloop on Barnacle Cay, just north of Plunder Outpost. Very conveniently, the island I wanted to bury the treasure at on. However, after moving the chests of legends to a safe place in case of something happening, I sold everything and the sloop had vanished. So I took the opportunity to move the chest back to my ship and sail the Barnacle Cay. The ashen chest, as well as the broken Athena flag I had before I got sunk by the skeleton sloop, were buried on Barnacle Cay. That map, as well as two others, consisting of a chest of rage and chest of sorrow, both of those which were buried in the roar, were posted to the map board. If anyone does find them, please tag me on Instagram. I'd like to know if somebody got, got it and was able to sell them. Also, I have an Instagram. I actually have had it for a while. I just haven't been able to advertise it. I'll be posting sneak peeks to upcoming videos, showing what I'm working on off camera, and showing you what projects have not made it to YouTube. My name is Crazy Kitty, and I hope you all had an amazing time watching. See you in the next video.